Picture this, it's 8pm. You sit down to watch just one episode of your favourite show. You tell yourself you'll be productive afterward. Maybe read that book, work on that side project, or at least get to bed at a decent time. Cut to 2am and you're 12 episodes deep. Your eyes are burning and you're questioning every life choice that led you to this moment. Sound familiar? Congratulations, you've just experienced dopamine hijacking in real time. And if you think it's just about Netflix binges, buckle up. Because your brain is being manipulated in ways that would make a casino owner jealous. I'm not here to tell you to throw your phone in a river and live like a monk. But I am here to show you how dopamine, that chemical your brain releases to make you feel good, has been weaponized against you. And more importantly, how you can fight back without becoming a complete hermit. Because here's the thing, understanding dopamine isn't just about productivity or focus. It's about getting your life back from forces that are literally designed to steal it from you. Let's start with the basics. Dopamine isn't actually the pleasure chemical. That's a myth. Dopamine is the wanting chemical. It's what makes you crave the next hit, the next notification, the next episode. It's not about enjoying what you have. It's about desperately wanting what comes next. Evolution gave us dopamine to survive. When our ancestors found food or a safe place to sleep, dopamine made sure they remembered where to find it again. It was supposed to help us seek out good things and stay alive. But now? Now it's being used to sell us stuff and keep us scrolling. Tech companies have hired neuroscientists to figure out exactly how to trigger your dopamine system. That little red notification badge, that's not an accident. The pull to refresh motion on your phone, designed to mimic a slot machine. The autoplay feature on YouTube, that's your dopamine system being hacked in real time. Here's what's happening in your brain. Every time you get a like, a comment, a text, or even just see something mildly interesting, you get a small dopamine hit. But here's the kicker, your brain adapts. What gave you a rush yesterday feels boring today. So you need more likes, more comments, more stimulation, just to feel normal. It's like building tolerance to a drug, except the drug is your own life. You start needing constant stimulation just to avoid feeling restless and bored. Real life, you know, the stuff that actually matters, starts feeling incredibly dull in comparison. And the worst part? This isn't happening gradually over years. This is happening in real time, every day, with every swipe, every click, every mindless scroll session. Now, before you panic and decide to do a dopamine detox where you stare at a wall for 30 days, let me save you some time. That's not how this works. You can't detox from dopamine any more than you can detox from having a heartbeat. Dopamine is essential for basic human functioning. The problem isn't dopamine itself. It's the artificial, constant stimulation we've created around it. Think of it like this. Your dopamine system is like your appetite. Having an appetite is healthy and normal. But if you spent all day surrounded by cotton candy and energy drinks, your appetite would get completely screwed up, right? That's what's happened to our dopamine systems. We're surrounded by digital cotton candy 24 seven, and we're wondering why we can't enjoy a simple conversation or read a book without checking our phones every five minutes. The solution isn't to eliminate all sources of dopamine. That's impossible and miserable. The solution is to recalibrate your system by being intentional about what you expose it to. Here's where things get really scary. All this constant stimulation is rewiring your brain for instant gratification. You're literally losing the ability to do anything that doesn't provide immediate rewards. Reading a book? Boring. Learning a skill? Takes too long. Having a deep conversation? Where are the emojis and reactions? This is why so many people struggle with long-term goals now. Your brain has been trained to expect rewards every few minutes, so anything that takes weeks, months or years to pay off feels impossible. It's not that you lack willpower, it's that your reward system has been completely hijacked. Studies show that people who spend more time on social media and instant gratification apps actually have smaller prefrontal cortexes. That's the part of your brain responsible for planning, decision making and impulse control. You're literally shrinking the part of your brain that makes you human. But here's the good news, your brain is incredibly plastic. It can change and adapt. If you can rewire it for instant gratification, you can rewire it back for delayed gratification and deep satisfaction. Let's talk about social media for a minute because it's not just hijacking your dopamine, it's hijacking your entire sense of self-worth. Every time you open Instagram, TikTok, or whatever your platform of choice is, your brain automatically starts comparing your life to everyone else's highlight reel. And here's the twisted part. The dopamine hit from social media isn't just from likes and comments on your own posts. You also get dopamine from judging other people's posts, feeling superior when someone looks bad, feeling envious when someone looks better than you. It's like a drug that makes you feel good by making you feel terrible. Your brain starts to believe that your worth is determined by external validation. How many likes did you get? How many followers do you have? Are people paying attention to you? This constant external validation seeking is literally rewiring your brain to depend on other people's opinions for basic self-esteem. The result? 
You stop trusting your own judgment, your own feelings, your own sense of what's important. You start living your life like it's a performance for an audience that doesn't actually care about you. All right, enough doom and gloom. Let's talk solutions. The goal isn't to become a digital monk, it's to use technology intentionally instead of being used by it. First, understand that your phone is designed to be addictive. Treat it like you would any other potentially addictive substance. You don't need to eliminate it completely, but you need boundaries. Put it in another room when you're trying to focus. Turn off non-essential notifications. Make it slightly harder to access the apps that suck you in. Second, start doing things that provide delayed gratification. Read physical books. Learn an instrument. Have conversations without documenting them. Exercise without tracking every step. Your brain needs to remember what it feels like to work for rewards instead of expecting them instantly. Third, practice what I call intentional boredom. When you feel that urge to grab your phone, just sit with it for a minute. Let yourself be bored. Boredom isn't a problem to be solved. It's your brain's natural state, and it's where creativity and self-reflection happen. Finally, remember that your attention is your life. Whatever you pay attention to becomes your reality. If you're constantly paying attention to other people's curated lives, manufactured outrage, and artificial stimulation, that becomes your reality. But if you pay attention to your actual life, your real relationships, your genuine interests, your authentic goals, that becomes your reality instead. Look, I'm not saying throw your phone in the ocean and go live in the woods. I'm saying your brain deserves better than being treated like a product to be sold to advertisers. You deserve better than living your life in a constant state of artificial craving. The key takeaway here is simple. Dopamine isn't the enemy, but the artificial manipulation of your dopamine system absolutely is. Take back control. Be intentional. Your future self will thank you. Before I sign off, I have to thank you incredible humans who make up our community of 200 subscribers. You're not just numbers on my screen, you're real people choosing to spend your valuable time and attention here. And that means the world to me. You could be anywhere on the internet, but you're here, learning and growing together. Let's make a deal. Help me hit 500 subscribers before the end of November, and I promise to keep bringing you content that actually matters. Not just fluff, not just clickbait, but real insights that can genuinely improve your life. Your brain is the most sophisticated machine in the known universe. Stop letting apps treat it like a casino slot machine. And remember, your attention is your superpower. Use it wisely. Peace out.